If you want to develop a prosperity consciousness and change aspects of your life that seem unchangeable, you only need the willingness to begin thinking in a new way and the courage to take actions that align with your new way of thinking. Our minds are so sophisticated that they make our thoughts more powerful and more energized each time we engage in those thoughts. And people who naturally attract prosperity and abundance think, believe, and behave in specific habitual ways. Following is a guideline you can start using today to begin matching that type of prosperity consciousness. Number one, begin recognizing prosperity everywhere. If we want more prosperity in our lives, we must begin looking for what is prosperous, not only in terms of money, but also in terms of how abundant all things are around us. We have an abundance of raindrops each time there's a storm. There's an abundance of the number of blades of grass in any lawn or field. You may have an abundance of friends, or even realize an abundance of cars on the road. Abundance is literally everywhere. It's only that we rarely place our attention on it. Train your brain to seek out what is prosperous and abundant in your life. You can easily do this by setting an intention each day when you wake up that you will consciously look for what's abundant and prosperous everywhere you go that day. Number two, consciously teach your mind a new experience of prosperity and abundance. Because the subconscious mind runs on autopilot most of the time, we must give a reason to automatically drive us towards prosperity. One simple way to do this is by consciously changing the experience of how your mind automatically thinks about prosperity. For instance, instead of complaining about paying for something, such as one of your monthly bills, be thankful that you have the money to do so. Or give thanks for the fact that whatever it is that you're paying for has been useful and or assisted your life in some way. The goal is to remove anything negative about this subject and reframe it into something positive. This changes the way your mind views the experience and it will assist you in rewiring your brain in a way that creates new prosperity neural networks that begin to become dominant. Number three, accept the existence of prosperity as already a reality rather than it being something out there that you're seeking to bring into your life. Because it's a part of your mind, it exists. Whatever's dominant in your mind, your subconscious will seek to make a part of your reality. You can affirm daily, because abundance and prosperity are already a part of my thoughts, they are a part of my mind. And because they are a part of my mind, they are a reality. I affirm that my mind seeks what I most dominantly focus on. And I choose to focus on the facts that abundance and prosperity are already mine. Number four, bless what you already have. Money itself is rich in symbolism, and it carries a specific energy about it that represents status and freedom. Here's a fun little experiment that you can try for yourself to see how it works in your life. Take any denomination of money that you currently have and bless it by saying, infinite energy, love, and wisdom moves through me and increases all that I receive. You can also do this with anything else that represents prosperity to you, and it only takes a few seconds to do. Number five, change the way you speak about prosperity. Remove words and phrases such as broke or can't afford from your vocabulary. These types of statements reinforce old poverty programs in the mind. Consciously catch yourself each time you do this and replace it with something to the effect of, I'm going to revisit this at a later time, or I am an intricate part of this abundant world, which makes me automatically abundant and prosperous. The point is to redirect the mind to a new way of habitually thinking so it can begin to open you up to what is rightfully yours. Number six, treat yourself to something simple that represents prosperity to you. Find inexpensive pleasures that represent prosperity and luxury, such as a scented bubble bath or a nice cup of your favorite coffee, and then revel in the experience of that inexpensive luxury. Feel how it creates the sensations of prosperity and stay with that as long as you're able to. And number seven, keep the prosperity flowing outwards. Oftentimes when we think of abundance and prosperity, we can get stuck in a loop of thinking about how we can have all of it and acquire all of the things that we relate with that. But money is currency. It runs in currents. It needs to circulate to fulfill its purpose. 
we spend it on needs or wants, and then it goes to someone else who also spends it on needs or wants, and the cycle continues. Within reasonable bounds, use it to bring pleasure to yourself and also others. Don't be afraid to send it out into the world. Prosperity is attracted to a prosperous attitude. The riches of the world are here for anyone to be appreciated and delighted in. With these steps, you can overcome a poverty consciousness and begin creating a prosperity consciousness in its place. Because your personality creates your personal reality, developing your personality in new ways helps you change your beliefs and gives new meaning and happiness to your daily experiences. Persistence is important when doing this, but with a new consciousness comes a new reality.